being an actor always involves a lot of preparation, especially if you are a Matrix actor. The franchise is legendary for pushing its actors to their physical limits. Many perform their own stunts, and Matrix 4 continues this tradition as Carrie Ann Moss and Keanu Reeves jumped off a roof of a skyscraper. In a new interview, more details about the physical preparation of the actors was revealed. Also, Matrix Resurrections and Warner Brothers launched a new contest for independent musicians. These are the most important Matrix news stories of the week. Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. Today's first news comes from company United Masters. United Masters is an American music distributor that gives artists the ability to distribute music to all major streaming services. Distributed artists are eligible to participate in advertisements, brand partnerships, and other promotions that can earn them money and new fans. Recently, this company, with Warner Brothers, launched a competition in search of independent music artists who can compose new original music that will be used in the marketing of Matrix Resurrections. Several musicians received emails inviting them to participate. The United Masters Twitter account promoted this competition, which will include a prize of $15,000 and the opportunity to have their music used in the promotions of the movie. What is important about this news is not the competition itself. It is what was revealed with this announcement. The commercials that we will see during December will include original indie music, which means that the trailers will continue with the style of the first trailer, which used the Jefferson Airplane song, White Rabbit. This also continues with the tradition of the original movie, which had music by artists such as Marilyn Manson, Rob Zombie, Deftones, among others. This competition concludes on November 28th, so we think the Matrix marketing push will begin in December. Our next news comes from Priyanka Chopra, who shared an interesting picture on her Instagram referring to Matrix 4 by saying, and it starts. We didn't quite understand what she was referring to, but hours later, more photos were uploaded to Chopra's social media accounts, with her and her co-stars Jessica Henwick and Yaya Abdul-Mateen II. Priyanka was referring to the fact that she has started promoting the film. In the photograph, the three actors are meeting in what we believe to be a publicity event for the movie. Although Chopra mentioned that her role is small, the fact that she is with some of the main cast members at this event suggests that her role is more important than she leads on. See our previous video where we talk about our theory about who Chopra's character is. Link in the description below. Next, we have The Hollywood Reporter announcing that yesterday Matrix Resurrections won an award at the 2021 California On Location Awards. The California On Location Awards honors the best film locations. This year's nominations were King Richard, Top Gun 2, and Matrix Resurrections. The Matrix won, so the movie is already winning awards. And the California On Location Award goes to the team for the Matrix Resurrections. Woo! Yeah! And remember that a few weeks ago, Warner nominated Matrix 4 to be considered for the Oscars. And our last bit of news reveals more important details about the movie's plot. This news reached our radar thanks to the Matrix subreddit. In the scene where Keanu Reeves is walking through the mirror with Jessica Henwick, for a short moment, we see another woman who could be a red pill. Erendira Ibarra, the Mexican actress, did an interview where she spoke about the film and her role. Translated from Spanish, and I quote, The first Matrix movie changed my life. The second made me want to understand love better. And the third broke my heart because I felt that they let go of my hand at a very important moment in my personal story," explained the actress, who began to admire the saga when she was 14 years old. I am a very, very big fan of the series. When I found out in Sense8 that I was going to work with Lana Wachowski and David Mitchell, it was one of the most extraordinary moments of my career because they have defined me as a person, as a woman, as an activist. So I feel very, very committed to the saga and also part of the Matrix is my life, too." End quote. The article continues stating that Erendira's participation is fundamental in the film. And I quote, So far the plot of Matrix Resurrections has not been revealed, but the action scenes will be a core part of the film, so Erendira Ibarra had to do some preconditioning work. The actress said, I did a lot of physical preparation, a lot of physical demand, much more than I had had. Before I had done weapons and martial arts training, my husband is a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, so I have done a lot of martial arts training. 
but nothing prepares you for life action, she explained. End quote. This part of the interview is extremely important because in the trailers, we have only seen Jessica Henwick's character Bugs in action, but not her companion. Maybe part of the story involves this new red pill. The Matrix is one of the few film franchises that forces the actors to perform most, if not all, of their stunts and fight scenes, and the new installment will continue this tradition. The actress then talks about the physical strain the film caused her, and I quote, Kung Fu is an extraordinary world. Crazy. The world of stunts is something that I had not had the opportunity to know in such depth, and it has my respect. It still hurts a year after filming, but I think it will be worth it. Participating in The Matrix means an extraordinary experience for the actress. I feel like there are few words left to describe the impact of having a relationship so close as the one I have with Lana Wachowski, having the opportunity to be in a project like Sense8, and now Matrix. Lana reaffirms my struggle, my desire to fight for a different industry, to tell different stories, to transform through art. It is very exciting, and I love having the opportunity to be considered part of her family and that we could continue to create together in a project that changed my life." End quote. So then who does this actress play in the movie? Based on her wardrobe and who she follows in the trailer, we have assumed that she is a red pill and part of Bugs' crew. In one of the teasers, Bugs mentions that she's entering the Matrix alone to investigate an old code. Ed and Dita's character could be her backup, another member of the Namasani crew. Now many of you have asked us when the second Matrix Resurrections trailer will come out. The film's competitor is Spider-Man No Way Home, which released its trailer in August. Matrix 4 released its trailer in mid-September. Based on this timeline, the new Spider-Man trailer could be released this week, tomorrow even, so the next Matrix 4 trailer could be out later this month or early next month. For a time, we believed that the next trailer would come out this month, but with the announcement of the music contest, we think that the next trailer will arrive in December using the song made by the winner of said competition. Although Warner could surprise us in the next few days. Maybe. But do you agree? Are you going to participate in the Matrix Resurrections music contest? For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.